What a good day today. How cool it is to live in my rich house with rich parents who love me and give me a lot of pocket money. We have so much. We cannot deny ourselves anything. They give me a lot of money every day and I can walk freely and spend it. My dad and mom love me very much and do not force me to work. We even have cars, very, very many. They are diamond and emerald. I'm so happy. Oh, and I have a very poor family. My parents do not give me pocket money. Our house is poorly furnished. We live without frills. We have little money. So my parents kick me out into the street every time in search of food and tell me not to come back without food. I am very unhappy. Sometimes it seems to me that they don't like me at all. They just make me look for food for them, but they don't try to do anything. They are very angry. They are not trying to fix the situation of our poverty in any way. We have only one old car, but it drives badly, and there is no money for gasoline. I will have to go through the village again in search of food. Oh, another hard day. My rich friend JJ will be running there. I need to talk to him. Maybe he can tell me where to get food. Hi, Mikey. How are you? Hi, JJ. I'm not well. My parents sent me outside to look for food again and didn't give me a penny with me. I don't know what to do. Oh, what a terrible situation. But if I can help you, my family has money. I could give you my pocket money for food. You need it more now. So here you go. Oh! Thank you very much, JJ. You helped me out a lot. Now I finally have the money to buy food and bring it home. Maybe my poor parents will finally love me. I'll bring a lot of good food and finally we'll eat something great that we've never eaten. Woohoo! <laughs> I am so happy. Thank you, JJ. You are a true friend. It seems Mikey ran to get food. I need to wait for him here. Hmm. What? Iron Golems, why did you grab my friend? He didn't do anything. Orn just went to get food for his family, and I gave him the money. It's very rude of you to do that. What makes you think that he stole this money and quickly put my friend on the ground? Are you trying to tell me that he stole money from someone else? I only gave him a little money, and you give me a lot, Mikey. This is a terrible thing to do. Never do that again. You leave a bad impression of yourself. Thank you for your service, Mr. Golem. Good luck with your hard work. Take care of yourself. Hmm. Uh-oh. Who could Mikey have stolen all this money from? I gave him enough money to pay for the food. Why did he do all this? I need to wait until he wakes up. Then I'll talk to him. Hmm. <gasps> Someone has finally woken up. Why did you do that? Why did you go stealing money from others? I'm sorry, JJ. I do not know what came over me. I wanted to stop being poor, to live well and richly like you. Take what I gave you, and don't do it again. Go buy yourself some food, and in the meantime, I'll go and eat myself in my favorite coffee. They cook the best dishes in the village. I really like it there. Yes, and everyone already knows me there. I'm a frequent guest, even though they have expensive, but their food is worth it. Waiter, bring me food as usual. All the most expensive and delicious. Hmm. JJ is already sitting in his favorite cafe. He ordered a lot of food. How hungry I am. I have a very insidious plan. As soon as he pays for the food and it is brought to him, I will run into the cafe and eat everything from his table and run away as quickly as possible. There I now need to carefully get to closer to the cafe and wait for the right moment to eat JJ's food for free. Woohoo! He doesn't seem to see me. He paid the waiter, which means that his food will be brought to him very soon. But I can't wait to eat everything that they bring him. I need to wait quite a bit. The main thing is to behave very quietly and carefully so as not to attract too much attention to myself. Otherwise, JJ will immediately understand everything. How hungry I am. It's been so long since I've eaten anything but raw potatoes. It turns out they're bringing him his food. It's just great. Woohoo! It's just a little bit left and I can run right into the cafe. JJ does not expect to see me and will be confused. Then I will be able to eat all his food and run away quickly. Hmm. And here's all his food. How much of it? I've never seen so much food on one table. How delicious it smells. I can feel it even through the glass. Wait, and when I see it, it seems JJ is going to go somewhere. It's generally perfect. I'll have a great opportunity. Eat everything while eating at the table. Hmm. It seems that he is running out of the cafe. This is a success. I don't have much time, so I need to hurry up. Eat everything as soon as possible. Woohoo! How delicious it all looks. And it all pulls mine. How glad I am. Finally, delicious food. It costs a lot. I would never be able to afford it.
I need to eat more quickly before JJ returns. <laughs> Woohoo! It's incredibly delicious. How glad I am that I managed to eat. Woohoo! And dessert. It's generally gorgeous. How glad I am. It's very tasty to me. Oh, it seems that something is happening to me. Am I getting fatter? How did I overeat? I think I got so fat. It's hard for me to move around. I need to wait a little. Now we will have to think about how to get out of the cafe and not get caught in the eyes of JJ. Huh? Hmm. What? Mikey, what are you doing here? Did you eat all my food? But wait, you fat turtle. I'm going to catch up with you now and knock all my food back. <laughs> how difficult it is to run when you are very fat. I shouldn't have eaten so much. Now it will take me a long time to lose weight. I need to run away. Otherwise, another iron golem will be enough for me. It will be unpleasant. Wait, Mikey, I'm going to catch up with you now. You did a terrible thing. Why did you eat all my food? It was mine. I paid for it. I gave you money to buy food for your family. Why did you steal my food? You did the right thing. You will answer for it. Woohoo! I wonder where Mikey went. He's so fat. It is unlikely that he was able to run too far. I have to find him. He committed a terrible and disgusting act, and the fact that he is poor does not release him from responsibility. Hmm. He should be here somewhere. But it seems like this fat turtle, I wonder where he's going now. Not that he's going to steal food right from the villagers' beds. Mikey, Mikey, how low you've sunk. I really feel sorry for him. Maybe he's stealing, not because he wants to, but because that he wants to get parental love and care. And they just use their little Mikey, sending him completely alone and without money, outside in search of food. It's just terrible. But for now, I still need to follow Mikey and see what he's going to do. As long as he's so fat, he doesn't have much to do unnoticed. Woohoo! And here is the garden. I'll bring some vegetables home. Uh-oh. It seems that the villager noticed Mikey, and now he will drive him out of the garden with a diamond hoe. It's so funny, but I feel very sorry for Mikey. Children should not suffer so much because of their parents. Mikey managed to escape. Now he is going to his house and will probably try to give food to his poor parents. Here you go. I managed to get a carrot. What? Are they chasing him away? It's just terrible. He was able to get them food anyway. Even though he stole it, he did everything for the family. They are terrible. They do not love him. What will Mikey do next? I can't leave him like this. I have to help him. He's still my friend. I need to invite him to our family dinner. I think my parents won't mind. <laughs> Mikey, wait, wait, listen to me. I have a good suggestion. Come with me to a family dinner. We will feed you very tasty. No one will mind if you go through. So how do you like the idea? Thank you. I am very pleased. I was kicked out of the house again and told to bring normal food. I am so upset. I like your idea. I would love to eat with your family. Then great. Let's go soon. I'm sure everyone is already waiting for us. I hope you remember my parents' names. Make yourself at home. Hi, Mom. Can Mikey have lunch with us? Of course, boys. Come to the service station. Your father won't mind either. We are glad that you came together. We have a very rich and delicious lunch today. All right, sit down, Mikey. We're going to have a great meal now, and then I have an idea how to bring you back to the family. Bon appetit, boys. Help yourself to everything you can. All the best for you. I am very glad that you came together. I haven't seen you in a long time, Mikey. Thank you very much for such a lavish lunch. I have never had such a meal in my life. I am very pleased with your courtesy. Thank you very much again. Now, Mikey, let's have a nice meal. We've had a very difficult day. A lot has happened, but we still have a lot to do. Let's have that dinner in honor of our long friendship and my desire to help you. I promise you, I will do everything so that everything is fine with your family, and I don't mind any money, food, and cars, because our friendship is above all this. Thank you so much, JJ. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have a friend like you. You always help me out. Forgive me for my antics today. I've had a hard time finding food for myself and my family. I promise I'll get better. Everything will be good. Thank you for your help. Your food is very tasty. The most delicious in the world. Oh! 
I'm very glad that you like it. Know that you can come to us at any time and find help and support. Everyone in my family will be happy to help you, so don't ever steal anything again. And now that we've already eaten, we can eat the chocolate cake. It's my favorite and most delicious. Help yourself, and then we'll finally go ahead and implement our plan to save your family. This is a very delicious JJ cake. Thank you for treating me to it. It's the tastiest I've ever eaten in my life. Thanks again so much for such a rich lunch, and now let's go outside soon to try to save me and my family. Ho <laughs> ho! Woohoo! So, the first part of our plan is a vegetable garden. Mikey tries to take carrots from a villager again, and when he tries to drive him away, I will pay him money for vegetables, and Mikey will already have food for the family. But that's not all we will have another interesting idea. And here's the villager. I've just saved my pocket money, and I can pay him. Don't be afraid, Mikey. I'm here now. Here's your money for vegetables. Don't touch my friend. Take this. It's all there is. It should definitely be enough. It's even with a reserve. For you personally, you have a beautiful city, and we are happy to buy these vegetables from you. Good luck in your gardening business. We were glad to see you. Wow, JJ, thank you so much. You helped me out. He let me pick up his vegetables. It's very cool. Now I have food. You're a real friend. He was so nice to us after you paid him. The magic power of money is no different. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's all that's left. And now let's go to my favorite coffee. We'll order the best food there, and you can take it home. I assure you, they won't like this kind of food, and they'll let you back into the house. Trust me, I promised you. I will not let you down, especially since we have money. Since my father found out that I was going to help you and gave me twice as much pocket money as before, so we have no problems with them. And now we sit quietly and wait for the waiter. He will come soon, he knows me well, so don't worry. After that incident, they won't kick you out into the street. We'll sit quietly and have a nice meal and we'll get food for your family. Here's the money, bring us everything you have and as soon as possible, all the most delicious things should be on the table. Thank you for bringing me to such a cool place, JJ. I'm so glad that I can make an order myself and pay for it, even with your money. I can't wait to see my parents' face when I bring them such delicious and expensive dishes. Ho <laughs> ho! I also wonder how surprised they will be. I think they will be shocked, but very happy. They'll bring you home right away. We can even help them with money so that our families live well and you don't have to look for food on the streets. Oh, it seems our order will be brought soon. Get ready, Mikey. There is a lot of food. You have to take everything you see. Ho <laughs> ho! Woohoo! There is so much delicious food here. How glad I am that I can take all of it for myself. I am so pleased. Thank you very much again, JJ. I have never been so grateful to anyone as Theba. I hope my parents will love me for this kind of food, and we will live a fun and happy life like you. Ho <laughs> ho! Now that we have all taken, we ran to your house. Give the food to your parents. I will watch from afar so as not to interfere with you. I hope we will succeed. For such treats, I would accept anyone into the family myself. Here we are, very close to your house. I hope you are ready, Mikey. Show them what you brought, what kind of food you could get for your family. I wish you good luck, and I go away so that they don't think of anything. Good luck to you, friend. I believe in you. I need to clear my view from behind the bush to see all the moments well. I hope his family will take him back. He still did a lot. And here is his father. Mikey gives him all the expensive food, everything that we managed to get. Wait for him to be chased away. He took all his food and just chased him out of the house. What a terrible guy he is. I think I know what to do. Mikey, my friend. Don't worry, they don't appreciate you, they don't love you, they are terrible parents. But I know what to do, let's go to my place, you will be the new member of my rich family, and everything will be good for us. You will even have a very rich room. How sad I am, JJ! They just kicked me out! After all that I did, they just took my food and kicked me out. Thank you for the offer. It's very acceptable to me, but will your family agree? Necessarily. Don't worry, Mikey. I told you everything would be fine. Mom. Can we adopt Mikey? His family doesn't like or respect him. They kicked him out of the house again. How terrible it is. 
I will consult with father and tell you our decision. What kind of bad parents do you have, Mikey? Honey, we can adopt Mikey. He's good. His parents don't like him, and we have the money to provide for him. Come with me, my husband has agreed. Now I will show you your gorgeous and expensive room next to JJ's room. You will live in a row and spend the whole day. Woohoo! Ho <laughs> ho! Thank you very much. You are the best parents. Mikey. Now let's take a quick look at your new room. You have everything you need here. A comfortable bed, your favorite green color, even your own computer, and there is also a second chat room. It's like a game room. There's even your favorite dancing machine. Make yourself at home. My brother, he's definitely a brother now. Ho <laughs> ho! Woohoo! Thank you very much. You are the best in the world. I have never lived so comfortably before. And I love dancing on a dancing machine. It's so cool. Woohoo! Ho <laughs> ho! Enjoy Mikey. Ho <laughs> ho!